there is a movement, a keto movement, which obviously is very low carb. So that is less than 20 grams of carbohydrates a day. However, I have three issues, I think, with keto. One, it's not massively sustainable because you can't, what do you do when you go out? What do you go, do when you go to someone's house? It's very low carb, so it's very difficult to maintain. So it's not massively sustainable. If you're going keto, carbohydrates are found in vegetables. So you're having to remove a lot of vegetables as well. So that's not massively great for your gut microbiome. So there is... Um, studies that show that the gut microbiome of someone that's on a keto diet compared to say someone on a Mediterranean diet where they're eating lentils, beans, vegetables is vastly different. So it's not as good. Um, but also we need a certain amount of carbohydrates for our thyroid gland as well. So going too low carb can then start causing new thyroid issues. So I'm not massively a fan of, of keto. I think we need lower carb, but again, as I explained, buffering that carb with the protein and the fat with a little bit of fiber and just waving that flag for us that's what all of our meals are yeah, they so are lower in carbs than yeah. you would normally get but there are carbs but yeah, they absolutely. have you call it buffer they include fat and they include protein to make it balanced yeah absolutely. and also to make all of this sustainable because the problem with keto or the problem with fasting or the problem with standing on one leg and sticking your finger in your ear every Shrove Tuesday is it's not sustainable. And it's this I can't keep, keep trying to hammer home to people. Diets aren't sustainable. People think about their weight loss and they think, oh, I want to lose some weight for the holiday. I want to lose some weight for the wedding. But that's not the approach. You should want to lose weight and keep it off. And the problem that I encounter, and we've been doing this for two years, so I have many, many chats, is people have done diets before. And they can't get out of that diet mentality. And when they've done it, it's been uncomfortable for them. They haven't enjoyed it. So they just want to know how long it's going to last so they can revert back to the bad habits again. And it's trying to convince people that just changing your habits doesn't have to be painful. No, absolutely. We've proved it, haven't we, after the last two years, that it is massively sustainable. We've had people right there from the beginning that are still, yeah, still following the way we're eating because it is how you should eat for the rest of your life.